this video we're going to have a look at the cosine rule specifically the version of the cosine rule that enables me to find the missing side in a non right angled triangle so let's have a look at this here's my triangle it is non right angled and just like the sine rule the very first thing I need to do is to label this up so just to remind you if I call this side A and B and C then this actually dictates what I call these angles angle capital A is opposite side A angle capital B is opposite side B and angle capital C is opposite side C. Now the cosine rule itself looks like this and a nice way of remembering this is that it looks like Pythagoras with a little bit taken off the end. Let's have a look at an example of this. So in this example we are given a 7 centimeter side, a 10 centimeter side, a third side which we need to work out and crucially the angle opposite this missing side. So I'm going to start off by labeling the triangle. Now because I'm told these two, these are going to become my B and my C. Um, and actually I'm going to change this now to A, just so I don't get confused in my formula. So this is now side A. This makes this angle here angle A. I'm not particularly interested in these two angles, so I'm going to start by putting some numbers into this formula. A squared, which I don't yet know, is equal to b squared, so in this case that's 7, plus c squared, which in this case is 10, take away 2 times b, which is 7, times c, which is 10, and that's multiplied by the cosine of the angle a, which is 42. Now I can start to tidy this up, so 7 squared is 49, 10 squared is 100, and if I add them together I'm going to get 149, take away 2 times 7 times 10 which is 140 cos 42 okay now when I put all this into my calculator the value I'm actually going to get is 44.959 now remember this is not a this is a squared so very similar to when we do Pythagoras what we actually need to do is to take a square root of this and this will give me the final value for a which is 6.7 centimeters. Here are two examples to have a go at yourself. Pause the video here. When you're ready for some answers, hit play and I'll talk you through both of them. Okay. In this first example, it's fairly straightforward. A couple of things to be aware of. Make sure that you're aware that your triangle is working in millimeters. Don't fall into the trap of thinking it's automatically centimeters. So let's set it up by labeling it. Here's my missing side, which I'm going to call A, and that makes the angle opposite capital A. And then these two are going to be called B and C. So I'm going to start off by A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. And let's put some numbers into this. So that's going to become 12 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 12 times 4 times the cosine of that angle 31. What I can do now is to start to tidy this up even further and when I type all this into my calculator I'm actually going to get the value of 77.711 and a few more numbers after that. Remember this is actually a squared and not the value of a itself. I need to take a square root here. When I do that gives me a final answer of 8.8 .8 millimeters remembering the units in the second example it's a slightly more involved problem the side I'm looking for X does not have the corresponding angle next to it now quite nicely they've given me the other two angles so I can use the fact that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 so 180 take away the 57 degree angle take away the 25 degree angle is going to give me my missing angle there of 98 and I would just label that on your triangle like that. From now on I'm not actually interested in these two at all. So I'm going to set up my problem again. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So in my triangle then side X is going to become A this 98 degree angle which I've just worked out is going to become angle capital A and then the other two I'm going to call B and C and it doesn't really matter which way around I have those 
So this is going to become 3.2 squared plus 7.6 squared minus 2 lots of 3.2 times 7.6 times the cosine of the angle which is 98. Now when I type all this into my calculator I'm actually going to get the value 74.764. Again I need to take square root of this leaving me with the final answer for A of 8.6 centimeters. Well done if you got both of those correct. They're quite difficult problems. I would recommend that you next watch Cosine Rule Angles. Thanks for listening. <laughs>